Are you creating a tutorial video or maybe a product demonstration? Hi, I'm Ken with Learning Zen, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a talking head in Camtasia. Okay, we're done. Let me out. No, seriously, let me out. Let me out. Okay, so here we are inside Camtasia 2021 and I did a screen recording. I'm going to use a screen recording for this example. So the first thing that you will do is grab your screen recording from your media bin on the left and drag it all the way down onto your timeline. If when you do a screen recording, you're also recording a webcam, then what will happen is you will have two pieces of video here, as you can see. This top one with the sound waves in it is this small piece of video. That's what we're gonna turn into a talking head. And then your other piece of video is the actual screen recording. So the first thing that you'll do is you're going to select the video that is you, the small box, and you're just going to grab it and expand it all the way up. There you go. Expand that all the way. Next, you'll go to your editing menu on the left and you're going to select annotations. Now, if you've watched our how to add callouts video, this will look very familiar. If you haven't, this will be a good time to go ahead and subscribe, hit that notification button, because we'll be putting out new videos every week. Thanks for watching. When we click on annotations, you'll see that you have several categories that you can select. What we're going to do for this is we need shapes. So you'll click on shapes. And you can see you have a, a vast array of shapes that you can use. Now, if you open up your shapes and you only have a few like this, what you can do is just go to your style drop down, click on there, select all, and that will show you all of the shapes. And the shape that you're looking for is the circle. So we're just going to click on the circle and drag it across and you're going to put it over in the area that you want to create the talking head, so the circle. So I put that right there in the middle of my face. And now what you're going to do is resize this. So I want this to cover the total area that I want to show through. I know it may sound counterintuitive to cover the area you want to show through, but keep watching, you'll see how this all works. So I'm going to open this up and I'm going to go this way and I find this just as a rule of thumb, kind of like a, a chemistry equation. What you do to one side, you have to do to the other. So if you're going to extend one side, you want to extend the, uh, the opposite side as well so that you keep that circle shape and you don't end up with uh, an egg. <laughs> And if you want to see or get a better idea of what is going to show through, on the right hand side, you can go to the properties panel and decrease the opacity of your circle. And everything that you see in this circle is what's going to show through in your talking head. So I think I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger and I'm gonna make it a little bit bigger over here. We're keeping that circle shape. All right, I'm good there. Now, important tip. At this point, I recommend just going back to your properties and turning your opacity all the way back up. Do it now <laughs> or sometimes it'll get overlooked. So you want that opacity at 100%. If you have your opacity down lower, once we finish making this talking head, 
this is kind of what it will look like. It'll be pale. You won't have the yellow, but it will be pale. So you want that opacity all the way up. And then come down to your timeline and extend your shape out for however long you want this talking head on the screen. Many times if you're doing like a product demonstration or a tutorial, it will be for the whole video. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make this here and I'm going to spread it all the way out to the end. All right. So there you go. You have a circle. You have it all the way out. You have a, your opacity to 100%. Now you're ready to move to the next step. And the next step is going over to your left again to the editing menu. And this time you're going to select visual effects. Now if visual effects does not show as an option, if you click more, visual effects will be there. So click on visual effects. And the effect that you are looking for is media matte. So you're going to select that media mat and you're going to drag it down onto your timeline and you're going to put it right on top of that shape. Okay, on top of the shape. If you put it on top of the video, you just have a yellow dot. So you want to put it on the shape. There we go. And now you have a talking head almost because if I try and move this, I, hey, what's just the circle moves and what you see in the circle. So there's one more step we have to take here. And that is to come back down to your timeline. Make sure your shape is selected. Then control left click and select your video. So you have your shape and your video selected. Now right click and you're going to select group. So we're going to group these two together. We'll click group. Now I can move this around and the video inside of it moves with the circle. Now I like to make this smaller. So I'm going to crop this down a little bit. If you do crop, just make sure that you're not cropping into your circle. <laughs> you're killing all the work you just did. All right, we'll crop that down a little bit and then I'm going to go back over to the cursor so I can edit and then I can just make this a little bit smaller. There we go. We'll put it there. And now you have created your talking head. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did find it helpful, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button, give us a like, and uh, hit that notification bell, and we'll be updating every week. Until next time, remember to laugh more, learn more. See ya.